When President Wilson went to Europe to urge the creation of the League of Nations, the Oklahoma was a part of the convoy. Jarrett describes seeing Wilson during that voyage. He had a high hat on, and uh, he was like Harry Truman. He fought in the same war that we did, World War I. Everybody said he, he, could, he could never win, but he did, and it was one of the finest presidents we ever had. The Oklahoma was not involved in any high-profile battles or duties. The hardest luck for the USS Oklahoma came on the morning of December 7, 1941, while she was moored on Battleship Row at Pearl Harbor. Jarrett by now had been out of the Navy for several years, but he still kept track of his old ship. It took a while for me to sink in. I couldn't, I couldn't understand it because I understood that Japanese embassies was, came and was talking with, with the president at that time. And while the talk was going on, that's when the, the, they hit the ship. The USS Oklahoma was hit by seven torpedoes and capsized shortly thereafter. The ship lost 448 men, the second largest loss of life the Navy suffered in the attack. The USS Oklahoma proudly served the United States for 24 years and did so, as various crew members have pointed out, without ever having fired a shot in anger. The story of the USS Oklahoma is just a part of the military history of our state. The research library at the Oklahoma History Center holds extensive interviews with a number of crewmen who served aboard the Oklahoma, from those original commissioning crewmen in 1917 to the survivors of the attack at Pearl Harbor. All are available for you to read. The Oklahoma History Center is located just east of the state capitol on Northeast 23rd Street in Oklahoma City.